The Rock says, The Rock says, know your damn role. And that's what this jabroni podcaster should do. Welcome back, guys, to Folk Wrestling. And The Rock, the people's champion, the Brahma Bull, Dwayne Johnson, the guy that is facing a bit of backlash at the moment and can't make movies and decided it is the right time to come back to the WWE. Yes, that guy. Sell it, Rock. I've got to defend him here because he's been called out by some no-name jabroni podcaster who happened to be on the same podcast as Mark Hendry and Bubba Ray Dudley, but has nowhere near the same name value that those two guys have. And he has accused The Rock of completely disrespecting WWE and Cody Rhodes. And what is this all about? Why is he accusing him? of disrespecting Cody Rhodes. It's because of The Rock's appearance on the Pat McAfee show and The Rock addressing a potential match with Roman Reigns. He said it didn't happen at WrestleMania 39 for whatever reason, but he went on to say that he is open to it happening later. And then this guy, whose name I believe is Dave LaGreca. Dave LaGreca. Uh, LaGreca. Dave, La- Dave LaJobber, Dave LaJabroni, went on to say, Excuse me, Rock, it's not all about you, Mr. Movie Star. They actually built a story that the fans are infested in, and they actually have somebody that they love in, Cody Rhodes. I'm sorry, guys, I think The Rock spread open his cheeks and shit all over it. Why? Because he said the match was supposed to be his at WrestleMania 39, and who knows, maybe it can happen at WrestleMania 40. I'm sorry, Rock, but in my eyes, The Rock was completely disrespectful to the business of WWE and completely disrespectful to Cody Rhodes. I'm saying it now. You're disrespectful of the WWE by what you said on Pat McAfee's show, and you're disrespectful to Cody, that I'm a fan of, and millions of people are fans of. The business didn't happen. Get over it. Move on. End of quote. This guy wants to talk about millions of fans for Cody Rhodes. What about The Rock? This is a guy that's got the millions and millions of The Rock and this guy's talking about millions of fans wanting to see Cody Rhodes. The WWE have somebody that they believe in. The WWE have somebody that the fans love in Cody Rhodes. Is this guy for fucking real? The Rock? Look, The Rock comes back for a throwaway Smackdown and he gets a ten time bigger pop than Cody Rhodes has ever had. Yep, and you know what? The Rock would be billions. It'd be close to the billions, like his TV show. But see, how is this disrespectful, right? Is The Rock just supposed to blank this question, but like, next? What, what's he supposed to do? Yeah, the, the Rock didn't say... I mean, it's not, it's not like The Rock came out and said, yeah, I fuck Cody Rhodes. He, he only got my leftovers. He only got the scraps. Cody Rhodes wouldn't have been in the main event if it wasn't for me. The Rock never said that. The Rock said there was a possibility of him facing Reigns at WrestleMania 39. It didn't happen, but he's open to it happening at maybe WrestleMania 40. This guy, no, this guy says this, this like, like it's 1989 and Kayfabe's alive. I can almost accept that back then. But now, it's if you want Cody Rhodes over Roman Reigns and The Rock... You want Rhodes against Reigns rather than Rocket? You fucking need your head look. And if man. this guy says Co- if Cody Rhodes is the biggest star, if the people love Cody Rhodes as much as this guy says they do, then The Rock wouldn't have the ability to turn down a fucking match. It would be Cody Rhodes's match. Cody Rhodes would be getting like first call. He'd be getting first dibs. And if he didn't want Reigns, then it would be The Rock getting Cody Rhodes's leftovers. But the fact that The Rock is the one that dictates the main event, that's because The Rock is the man. That's because the the Rock is the star, and Cody Rhodes is just one of the best of a very bad bunch in 2023. It's as simple as that. It's disrespectful to fucking nobody. Austin, over the years, was offered WrestleMania matches, and he said this, and it didn't happen. There was the option of Austin and, and CM Punk, and that match didn't go down. Does that mean Austin was being disrespectful to Jericho or Lesnar or, or, or Taker or whoever Punk ended up facing at those WrestleManias? Absolutely. Absolutely not. No, of course it wasn't. And for me, The Rock has earned this. Do you think The Rock reached it to WWE? Or do you think the WWE reached it to The Rock? WWE reached it to The Rock. So who's been disrespectful? No, fucking no one. But if anyone is, it's WWE. It, no, it's not disrespectful. It's WWE simply knowing that, look, The Rock versus Roman Reigns is a much... I mean, you can't even... See, you can't even fathom the difference of scale here between Rock Reigns and, and Reigns Cody. Yeah. See, when it's Rock Reigns, Rock is fucking the A-side by a million miles. But when it's Reigns Cody, 
Reigns is the A-side by a million fucking miles. I mean, the difference in level of matches here is insane. No, but who, who wants to see the same main event two years in a row with, with, with Cody Rhodes? Only a few people have done that in Mania. I didn't even like it with Cena and Rock, but you can almost accept it. Triple H and Taker did, and it wasn't necessarily the main event, but in Michaels and Taker... But see, apart but if, there was a, if there was any match that was going to back-to-back -back main event WrestleMania, it would be Cena Rock. Yeah, I, Unless it was Rock Austin, but they always, like, skipped the Mania. Yeah, I thought Rhodes probably should have beat Reigns, but like, let's not kid ourselves. Who, who, who actually wants Cody Rhodes to take on Reigns and beat him at this year's Mania? It makes no fucking sense. He's lost all his momentum. We don't care, but this guy's thinking that The Rock shouldn't come back because they want to finish Cody's story. Cody can take his story, shine it up real nicely, and shove it up this Dave LaGreca's ass, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, like, Co Cody Rhodes, right? The moment for Cody... This whole story and moment, it's not defeating Roman Reigns, it's just winning the belt. It doesn't need to be... Roman Reigns in The Rock, the blood... It's fucking... I mean, it's The Rock. I don't even need to talk about how it's bigger than Cody Technically, Rhodes. if you want to talk about stories, you could argue that The, the Rock is part of the bloodline story. Because Roman Reigns is basically taking out everybody. He's the leader, and the, but The Rock's the man. Yeah. The Rock is the bloodline. He's, so it, 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 there's the, some more. the bloodline storyline should trump whatever Cody Rhodes' story is. Yeah. I just This is a weird take. This is a very weird take. I'd the, like to see what Bubba Ray and Mark Henry said about this when they were sitting there listening to this. Yeah, I would have liked to have got their reactions. Just look at the fucking stadium. I mean, like I'm looking at it here and they don't look too impressed to be honest. Nah, it looks like a 3D waiting to happen. For, was Mark Henry playing the role of Diva? Well, I mean, our truth did, didn't he? So, <laughs> if you're black, you're in. Uh, but yeah, nah, I mean, disrespectful to Cody, abs absolutely not. Does that mean nobody can turn down a match now? I just don't get that. Like, what I would say is disrespectful to Cody is... The, the, this whole like, what, what, right? It's dis to me, it'd be disrespectful to the Rock if Cody gets a fucking spot over him. It's the fucking Rock. It's the Rock. It's the Rock. Come on, fucking imagine, imagine that. Come on. I mean, it's it's probably gonna be the Rock's last ever match, like a, a three thousand day title reign or whatever it is. You know the bloodline. The Rock. Does this guy WrestleMania think, 40. Does this guy think that Austin coming back for a match against Owens, does he think that was disrespectful to whoever was supposed to main event before Austin? Uh, what a fucking loser this guy is. I, 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 what, would you, I mean, what would you rather, Owens against fucking Jey Uso? I mean, come on. Come on. You look at Hogan at 18. Here, Rock could have took on a lot of other younger people. So, is, but is The Rock supposed to look at the current WWE programming and look at what storylines are going on? And to be honest, there's fucking none. But well, let's just throw in Cody's story there. What do you want to talk about, right? Is The Rock supposed to look and try and map out when would be a good time for him to make his return because he doesn't want to step on any toes and he doesn't want to be disrespectful? This guy sounds like an absolute fucking little liberal pussy left-wing bitch. I mean, oh, The Rock's disrespectful for step... No, it's a... It's a, it's a, it's a take what you want, fucking business you make things fucking happen in life that's how life works all right you don't just sit about and get things handed to you if you want something you go and make it happen and if the rock wants a match against roman reigns he's going to make it happen he's not going to look at the current program and go well cody's actually trying to he's in a story here so maybe i should just take another 18 months off and come back when cody Rhodes has already won and lost his belt is that what the rock's supposed to do no the rock does what the rock the Rock does what The Rock wants. If, if, if The Rock was offered a match at WrestleMania 39, is he supposed to take that to his deathbed and never tell a soul? Does he take it to the grave? Oh, I, I can't talk about the possibility of a match I had with Roman Reigns because it's disrespectful to Cody. How did he shit all over it, man? Fucking wise up. This guy's disrespectful to the fucking Rock, and you know what? Bubba and Mark Henry are disrespectful for not just telling this guy, look, you don't have a fucking clue what you're talking about and walking out. This is, well, Mark Henry would have had to scoot it with one leg up in there like a dog that's pissed itself. R Rikishi should just run this guy over and date it for The Rock. I did it for The Rock. I did it for The Rock. He should. Anyway, guys, we did we did this video for The Rock. That's it. Catch you next time. Let us know your thoughts down below. Who's right? Is this guy being disrespectful to The Rock? Or was The Rock being disrespectful to Cody Rhodes? I think this guy is quite clearly up Cody Rhodes' ass and he needs The Rock's boot turned sideways and shoved up his. That's it, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Been Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching and peace.